Hello again. So we're going to do a micro lecture. This time it's going to be on how is it possible for something to be accelerating while also being stopped at the same time. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and your follow-up questions on Google Forms. So the objective, how can something be stopped and accelerating at the same time? And you need to be able to describe such a situation. So we're going to start off by looking at this scenario where a man just threw a ball upwards and gravity's pulling it down. So gravity begins by slowing it down as it goes up, and then it begins to change direction and go the other way. And so it happens to be that when it goes from going upwards to going downwards, for a brief moment it has to stop. And I mean brief moment, like a single moment in time, like less than 0 0.000000000001 seconds, like the smallest amount of time possible, it stops just ever so briefly. But if we think about it, if gravity is causing the ball to accelerate, so gravity is the only thing causing it to change speed here, and gravity doesn't turn off, like you can't just switch gravity on and off, then that means that for that brief moment in time at the very top when it stops, it's still accelerating because of gravity. So therefore the ball is still accelerating even while it is stopped at the very top. And so this is a scenario where we can have something that is accelerating and stopped at the same time. So a more gen general scenario is anytime something changes direction, its velocity goes from positive to negative, or vice versa, depending on which direction you call positive and which direction you call negative. So what that means is it has to become zero for a brief moment as the acceleration causes its change in direction. So in this case, we've got a ball changing direction here, we've got it changing direction here and here and here. And so we can see that as it changes direction, it's also being accelerated. And there's a moment where it is both stopped instantaneously and accelerating at the same time. So what I mean by that, that idea of it has to go through zero, is if you call, let's say, up positive and down negative, then what that means is in order for it to change direction from positive to negative, it must go through zero at some point. And this is kind of why something has to, or why something can be stopped and at the same time accelerating. Please do three or more bullet points worth of notes, so one to two sentence summary, and your follow-up questions on Google Forms.